bet you're wondering what I'm doing. Well, I've got somebody that wants one of these boats, but they don't want the design I've got taped out on here. So since this one was for me, and since the tape was on here too long as it was anyway, I've only retaped it three times since I first did this. Basically, he just wants one collar, so it doesn't need a tape off. So, I need to uh, take all this off. And like I said, it's been on there so long that it's stuck in places. So I've got to go around and clean it up. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it another wax. Just because I've been fingering it so much. Did I say that? Anyway, then after that I'll put uh, duct tape on these, uh, these edges so that I'm not getting paint built up out here. But uh, and it'll just be one design. I won't be. I, I'm going to do this guy's first, and then this, uh, the next one, which will be mine, unless I sell another one. Then I'll put the tape on to the two color design. The hole's still going to have different colors on it. He just didn't. He just didn't want two colors on the deck. And I got to do what he wants. So. That's what we're going to do. Anyway, I just been, haven't really had time to get to it. Because, uh, just working, you know, working the one job I was working, I was barely surviving. And then this job, I'm surviving and putting money away to build one of these but I don't exactly get a lot of time to to come out here and work on it it's probably a good afternoon just stripping this stuff off I didn't know you do not want to leave it on this long normally. <laughs> and this is why. Usually at the most you don't leave it on a few days. He's still trying to pick a color though. He doesn't know whether he wants blue or if he wants red. I'm trying to trying to push him towards red. See originally I was gonna do it this all of this was gonna be white. And then this stripe, this the uh, this trim would be red. Anyway, um, I've got.
got some other things done while you know not being able to work out here all the time. I do have uh, the corporation set up. Um, just a few weeks ago, had uh, somebody that's contracted with the Coast Guard to come and visit, and we talked about uh, oh different things like capacity plates and and uh, well capacity. You know, we took the measurements on this and figured out basically how many people it would fit. And we figured out to, for the capacity, there's actually, it would actually hold more people than, than what it would lay out in seats. So that's a good thing, because basically, you know, you, you, know, you, want, you want to figure it out for as high as it will go and then back it off a little bit. So I figured two seats here, two seats there, three across the back, so that would be seven people and we figured out it, it would hold about nine, eight or nine. So it's a little, gives it a little extra room. Um, well, so we figured out some, uh, we talked about labeling, we talked about flotation. Uh, one, one of the things to do with the first, uh, probably not this one, but probably mine, I'll ship it off to Maryland, and they'll they'll do some, the Coast Guard will do some testing on it. And what they do is that I'll have everything in it but the motor, and what they do is they submerge it in a water tank, and it, uh, for like 18 hours, <laughs> and it's got float within I guess a few degrees of being level, and if it doesn't, then that's got to be fixed because boats under 20 feet are, are supposed to have level flotation. Um, outboards anyway. If this was an IO, then uh, you know, it wouldn't necessarily have to, it would have to have some flotation, but not you know, level flotation. Um, once I get over 20 foot, then that goes away, so it doesn't, doesn't matter after that. Um, it's still probably put foam in there so you don't, you know, if you sink it, it isn't going to go all down all the way. Um, now what else would we talk about? Uh, yeah, serial numbers, we talked about that. Um, any new boat builder is going to get a factory visit like that. He brings like a book of info like this that I've been going through. And it's, it's on a CD too, so I can go look at it on the computer. And uh, as we talked about all the other molds I've got, and, uh, talked about the other shop. Um, all in all, it was a pretty good meeting. I mean, it takes me that much closer to to being fully legit. I got the you know, like I said, I got the corporate paperwork done. I've got the bank account set up now. Um, so I'm going to build these things. I'm going to build it. I'm going to set up a company to do it. Get out of trucking and go back to what I doing what I like to do because this actually this makes me feel good working on these things, and I don't get enough of it. And I need to get away from the trucking. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, it's good money, but uh, it's going to slowly kill me. <laughs> Not that some of these chemicals won't slowly kill, it, slowly kill me, but I'd rather die at home, I guess. Um, anyway, it's been a long time since I updated on this. I just wanted to give you an idea of what's going on. I do, you know, like a lot of the background work, getting some of the designs together. Uh, my cousin is part owner of a interior company. He wants to do the interiors. Um, the company up in Canada that uh, I'm talking to about the, doing uh, doing the windshields. Well, I may have to learn a little more French to get to the right people. And. Uh, 
anyway, I've, I've got tons of little projects I've got to, I've got getting ready to start out here. I've got uh, three or four different kinds of seats. I've got a couple hood scoops. I've got all these toy boats. So probably every weekend I'll be out here. During the week so much I don't get a lot of time. But uh, I'm working on that. You know, when when they call me up and say, hey, I got a load, the money's good, so I go. Until I sell enough of these that I don't need to do that anymore, or I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to try to make it more than a hobby. But, uh, yeah, I definitely want to be uh, fully in business on this. So, anyway, I get back to work cleaning this up. You guys have a good night. I'm sorry it took so long to get back on this. But if things go right over Christmas holiday when it isn't real slow, I mean, last year I had the time because I was off. I didn't have any money yet. I'd only been working for this new company for a couple months. So I didn't have any money. I didn't have a. Uh, I didn't have enough extra for propane, so it just sat out here in the ice. This year I've got some money set aside for a couple slow weeks this month and got money for propane. I've got that set up probably through the winter. Um, so yeah, I may just get this done here shortly. Hopefully, it'd be nice to shoot this this weekend um, so yeah, I can pick out his color. But once I get that laid up, I gotta do I gotta do a lot of wood woodwork to it. I've gotta figure out where I want my wood on the sides of the compartment here. I know some wood for the platforms and <laughs> well, clearly my batteries didn't want to last that long, um, so I put some fresh ones in. I just wanted to. To add, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching these videos. I want to thank you for subscribing. Um, I'm going to do my best to build this business and, and build the best boats that I can build. And if it isn't the best boat that I can build, I'm hoping the next one will be better. Um, I'm going to bring some people into it. I, I've got a a woman I'm talking to about doing the bookkeeping. She is familiar with the boat business, so that helps. Um, and I've got a couple laminators that uh, when when I do get this sprayed, like I said, hopefully this weekend, if I get it sprayed, and, uh, and I, know, I know they can definitely use some extra Christmas money, so I get them to come over and lay it up real quick. Because, I mean, I can laminate, but these girls are way better at it than I am, and a lot faster. So I figure I'll just let them do it. Um, and, you know, there will be different jobs for different people on the way. Hopefully I can, you know, and like I said, like I've told people, in another five years I'll be an overnight success. I've only been monkeying around with this stuff for... You know, as far back as I can remember. Um, almost as soon as I started working, I wanted to do this. And it's taken a long time. Um, anyway, you guys, uh, you know, hopefully I'll have something to update this weekend. If not, you guys have a Merry Christmas, and, uh, and then hopefully we'll have an update before the new year. We should hear something. I got all kinds of stuff going on out here. So, anyway, thanks for watching.